What's up traders, Sandra O'Connell here with Pristine Capital coming at you with yet another market recap video. It is December 17th, 2021. Please go ahead, support the channel by clicking the like button on this video and go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well. Today, we're gonna to talk about the price action in the indices. Today was quad witching, which is when you have uh, index futures, single stock futures, index options, and single stock options all expiring on the same day. So coming into today's action, I had no expectations. Uh, and really expected, hey, like this could be, you know, like a washout event uh, into the weekend and into the end of the options expiration. Let's talk about all the price action that occurred today. Sell my trades as well. Before we dive in, quick risk disclaimer, nothing in this video should be construed as investment advice or recommendations. Please follow your own trading plan, your own risk parameters. Last but certainly not least, do not YOLO your entire account to any one of my trades or anyone's trades for that matter. Box scores for today. We had S&P 500 as measured by the SPY. Finishing down 1.06%. We have the NASDAQ QQQ finishing down 0.5%. IWM small caps actually finished positive up 0.92%. And we have the Dow Jones surprisingly finishing uh, the most in the red down 1.43%. So as you can see, right, this action just looks really wonky. And that's typically what happens on quad witching. It's basically like if you come into the day with some like crazy like technical analysis plan or like yeah i think the market's just gonna follow like a trend or whatever like there's just so many rebalancing flows that are occurring that yeah it just ends up being kind of like a you know a day where i would say traders have like very little edge in terms of like market direction anything like that uh volatility up across the board and you can see we had the biggest rise in volatility in the dow jones and then we had negative breadth across the board aside from the IWM small caps, which had 58% advancers. Finviz heat map, you can see pretty much a sea of red. But what I noticed was that a lot of the growth stocks, like for instance, Tesla was down big at one point. Apple was also down big. A lot of those actually had recoveries throughout the session. And some of these like really high valuation, uh, high flying growth stocks, a lot of those actually had pretty good days. So we'll take a look at some of those names as well as we dive in. Sectors. Whoa. <clears throat> our Arc Genomics Fund is now in our top momentum slot because it was up 7.65% today. Biotech was also up 4.78%. Uh, healthcare down slightly. Let's take a look at what else did well. ARKK up 5.8%. I actually added a position in the Arc. Uh, ETF today and we'll talk about that yeah all these ARC funds did very well um, solar stocks which have been horrible did pretty well but yeah so much so many uh, red areas of the market as well we had regional banks down almost two and a half percent blockchain assets still down down 1.58 percent uh, and financials down 2.2 percent style factors the only style factors that were green were cyclicals and high beta which is pretty interesting um, compared to what we've seen recently, we had value down 1.24%. <laughs> we had uh, international momentum down 1.9%. So this, even like this configuration here on the style factors board just looks odd. Like there's no real like, like a uh, theme that we're seeing. It really just looked like some areas that were super oversold bounced and some areas, even the ones that were doing, you know, really well, just like, you know, had a bad day of volatility. Let's take a look here and we will go to our headline indices and really just get a gauge for hey where are we at now let's pull up our s p 500 first i'm gonna make this video a little bit on the quicker side because you know everyone wants to get to their weekend and whoever's watching this video really appreciate the support appreciate everyone everyone in the pristine capital trading community um s p 500 is trading down 0.86 percent or was down 0.86 percent so we've been talking about these three levels 4700 4600 and 4500 we've been chopping around uh between those levels we're still in the upper half of this uh of these three levels we tagged 4600 and we actually slipped below the 50-day moving average undercut it and probably took a ton of stops below that 50-day moving average and the market bounced off of that. 
So hey, we rejected 4600, could the next level up be 4700? Pretty much these three levels have worked like a charm. It's like you reject off of one of them, go to the next one, go to the next one. Like we've just been oscillating between these levels. Um, we did close below the 20 day moving average, below the monthly value area as well. Let's take a look at our hourly chart. And you can see that if we were to open up on Monday, right where we closed on Friday, we're gonna be inside of this weekly value area. It's pretty interesting on that front. And then the NASDAQ QQQ, one of our members actually pointed this out and I was able to get a nice trade on it. And this is the benefit of trading in a community. You know, sometimes people point things out and I'm like, wow, I didn't even look at that. Um, the NASDAQ QQQ was actually one of the best performers on the day aside from the small caps take a look at this so the nasdaq we closed below that 50-day moving average which we have not done uh throughout this entire corrective sequence so that is definitely new but you can see we basically put in i don't want to say it's a doji candle but we did close well off the lows so i'm not like overly concerned about this because i know it's quad witching like i don't know especially the market was weak into options expiration so a lot of times you'll get like this dramatic like final move as like the last bodies just like you know the last players just like give up the ghost and like get take their margin calls and all that um but yeah nasdaq as well this one on the hourly chart if we were to open up right where we closed uh on friday this monday we're going to be inside of this weekly value area take a look at our Russell and the Russell 2000 is like you know knocking on death's door about to break down from this range but there's this invisible hand that just prevents it from doing so Russell was up 0.99% uh, and the Russell is going to be inside of next week's weekly value area as well and then the Dow Jones what the heck happened here look at this this is what I mean just by like weird action uh, Dow Jones uh, actually closed below value, but it closed pretty much right on that 20 day moving average. Let's take a look at some of my trades for today. I traded some options, and the dynamic that I saw was uh, you know, hey, it looks like these tech stocks, a lot of the growth names that I've been talking about for the past, you know, week or so, hey, these things, everyone thinks they're just going to go to zero, but now they're starting to get to good levels. I really attacked some of them. So the cues, I ended up pretty much bottom ticking the cues. Um, and yeah, just, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you top tick it. I have been top ticking some things over the past couple weeks. Sometimes you bottom tick it. So whatever, I'll take it. Uh, I got long these QQQ December 20th, 382 calls uh, for $3.65. I took a quick target because in this market environment, um, you really do have to take just quick targets like when you have profits you know the quicker you can take a target that actually just reduces your risk gives you some more cushion for the rest of your position so i took a third off for 422 and i took another third off for 433 and i was like you know what i'll let the i'll let the final piece like the runner i'll keep that on and i've done that for a couple of options trades and then at 10.51, I got long Roblox, the January 21st, 2022, 100 strike calls. Roblox, this is one of my favorite names in the market, uh, fundamentally. And Roblox, uh, I took a stab at this one yesterday and stopped myself out. I said, hey, you know what? Close below the 50, I'll stop out. Today, the price action was strong. So I said, you know what? I'm going to jump right back in there. And uh, this one worked out very well. It's up 7.55%. And let's see where this one is on the hourly chart. So for this week, we were ended up trading below this weekly value area. But for next week, we're going to open up. You know, assuming we open up at the same price, we close that inside of value and more close to the top end than the bottom end. See, so yeah, liking Roblox. Another trade that I put on today was... Um, so I got a lot of Roblox. And the, the final one that I did... I got along the ARC February 18th, 95 strike calls. And I put here, my opinion, ARC is one of those ETFs a fund manager cannot afford to have on their books at year end. It's been a horrible performer and they'll lose their reputation slash clients. I'm playing for this fund to show some outperformance as the new year begins. 
and the performance year resets because everyone's been talking about this phenomenon of tax loss harvesting and there is an element of like if something's been like the worst performer in the market as a fund manager it's like well i don't want everyone to see that like i was holding arc the whole year so like they'll close it out pretty much like right before year end um so yeah arc i think it's one of those like the last shall be first and the first shall be last type things where yeah i could see it having a little burst of outperformance and we saw the very beginning of that today so we'll see what happens with arc but uh, a lot of these stocks, you know, Roblox, uh, Unity, which I also have on. This one, nice performance today. Let's see Snow. I'm sure that one was up. It's like one of the top tier growth stocks. Yeah, Snow was up. Yeah, pretty much all these high growth, high valuation names had a little bit of a bounce today. Let's take a quick look at our options order flow before we break. And we'll go to our big tech and let's pull this up okay so we have um, our options races let's check this out today's combined flows and we have Tesla's in the lead Rivian this stock really uh, broke some levels today. I believe it did close above uh, support though. Yeah, we got IWM, AMC. Apparently, the new Spider Man movie was like incredible, and a bunch of people went to see it. AMC ended up having a great day. And I think this weekend I am going to see the Spider Man movie just because the reviews were so darn good. Yeah, up 19% after really spilling prior to that. Let's take a look at our trade skate. Let's see what we got so apple apple mixed bag let's see how apple closed i was watching apple throughout the session and yeah so this one was it the best close no but it is pretty key here that we closed above where we opened so on a net basis this stock was accumulated it wasn't distributed or sold off let's see how the cues yeah some call activity going up AMC, a lot of calls going up. XLE, I noticed a ton of flow. Yeah, the 40 strikes for XLE, 45 strikes going out to the new year, 50 strikes. Well, let's see XLE, and XLE is probably not in the best trend at the moment. Yeah, you can see this one off the lows slightly. I noticed pretty much everything like that energy basket, financials, all the candles look pretty similar, like financials. I saw a ton of calls going up for this group, but I could just tell, I was like, this is probably something to do with the quad witching where like this thing is just getting torpedoed. Look at all of these call options going up for XLF. This is insane. This right here is like a half a billion dollars worth of calls. These are January 27s, January 26s, January 25s, XLF believes in the 30s. Yeah, so deep in the money stuff. Let's see what else we have. Pfizer, of course. Roku, another one of these growth stocks that bounced today. But look at this. Roku, yeah, nice day up 7.97%, and it closed above the 20 day moving average. Let's see what else we got. AMD, and one of our members is trading that one. Yes, yeah, so we'll pull up AMD. Yeah, AMD mixed bag over here oh yeah and by the way for for all members i did add um the stock bot into our discord channel you know feel free to go ahead and play around with that you know i was just looking at you know what bots can we add to the server just to make it better and improve the community and yeah the stock bot i'll probably create like a short video just on some of the commands that you can do but you can just call it it'll pull up charts it'll pull up upcoming earnings uh there's a lot of different things that it can do so just make sure you know play around with that tinker around with it i also sent out you know the list of commands and then also if you have you know a discord server bot that you think is just like a great bot you think we should include it in the server definitely you know just send me a message um leave it as a comment in this youtube video you know whatever you want so our goal is just to make the community as awesome as it can be and really just take everyone's feedback make it a great place for everyone with that being said, 
we have quad witching now in the books and we can finally you know move on if we're gonna get any sort of santa claus rally you know this is where it should be happening we've cleared out of this very volatile month of trading options have rolled over and let's see if the market can actually bottom if we can see some green action next week that being said that about does it for this market recap video hope you all have a great weekend and i will see you all on monday